part two, how to get rid of anterior pelvic tilt. Last week we covered the gym strengthening exercises. First link in the description. This week we're gonna be covering the stretches that wait for your time, let's jump right into it. Number one exercise, this is gonna be a kneeling quad stretch. Now this is one of my personal favorites because you're gonna target two areas, the quads as well as the hip flexors. These are both culprits that could potentially be leading to you having anterior pelvic tilt. So pretty much just getting a nice 90 degree angle, leaning forward, I'm just gonna want you to pretty much reach your right arm back, grab onto your foot and pull it in towards your butt, okay? It's nice to lean forward, okay? You don't wanna be fully upright, it's hard to balance. Just kinda leaning forward, keeping that core nice and tight, just pulling it in there, and you can hold for a good 30 seconds all the way up to two minutes. Now, if this is something that's tough, you can't get your quads to actually go all the way up and towards your butt. What you're gonna do is just grab onto a band, if you have access to it, hook it at the bottom of your foot, and then just slowly, 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 bring it up towards, okay? This is a nice stretch. You're really gonna help out a lot of those specific areas and I highly recommend adding it in. Next up we have the bent knee iron cross and this exercise is phenomenal for loosening up your lower back, especially in some rotary motion. A lot of us don't actually partake in much uh, twisting, rotation, so to do this is excellent on the spine. Super important you look the opposite way of your legs and you do your best to staple your back to that crown. Your hips might come up a bit, but try to really keep your spine pushed into that ground, looking opposite of those legs, stretching it out, doing it nice and slow, and going at a pace you're comfortable with. A very, very important one is gonna be the reclining angle bound pose. Now this one's super important, and the main thing I wanna get across is that it's not gonna work if you're actually keeping your lower back up. You're gonna to have to make sure that you're literally driving your lower back into the ground, helping you with the pelvic tilt, and keeping that core super, super tight. As you can see on the screen here, this is what you're not supposed to do, okay? So bringing your soles in to touch together, driving your knees down, this is gonna be great for loosening up the hips, but also practicing the right motion that you should be in throughout the day. So give this one a try, 30 seconds to two minutes, it's gonna feel great and it's gonna do wonders for you. Four, coming at you with another back stretch, as you can see me doing here, is cat cows. We did mention these in the last video, but I'm so passionate about these that you should do them more and more. It's so important you really work on mobility of the spine, and this way you're getting great extension and contraction of the spine, while really working on moving all the vertebrae. Really focus on separating each vertebrae one by one as you extend, then you as contract, and make sure it's in line with your breathing. As I'm breathing out, I'm extending my back. As I'm breathing in, I'm contracting my back. So definitely make sure to utilize this. This is an incredible exercise. Do it before, after workouts. Do it as mobility. Do it as much as you can. Once again, going for those hip flexors. It's important to do a combination of static stretches as well as dynamic. Um, and something a lot of people don't realize, we've got to make sure that there's a good balance of stretching as well as strengthening. You can't just do these stretching exercises and hope everything's going to be fixed. And you can't just do the strengthening as well. There has to be a good balance and a solid routine, and that's why we've created a full form guide. Probably the second link in the description, make sure to click that. There's no strings attached, get your free guide. It's gonna help you out and it's gonna be amazing. So these are the 9090s. Once again, so pretty much just going back and forth. Once you've done probably about 10 on each side, you're gonna get to the point where you're going up and down, okay? So this is gonna be good because a lot of times, especially if you have anterior pelvic tilt, you're probably sitting a lot, you're driving a lot, your hips are always in that flex position, so being able to go back and forth, side to side, up and down, is really gonna help you out. This is something I do every single day, at least three times a day. So up and down, and then side to side, okay? Go five to 10 passes each side and then go to the other side, you're good to go. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really hope this helps. Make sure, once again, second link in the description, click that to get your full interior pelvic tilt stretching and gym routine. Absolutely free, no strings attached. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, take a look at all our other content. I feel like you'll find it very effective and useful. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.